friends, welcome back. I hope all is well. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I am excited to finally get to try this electric pencil sharpener. This sharpener was sent to me for review and we're gonna do just that. We're gonna review this baby. First of all, I love it because it's black and gold. Second of all, second of all, it's electric and I'm lazy <laughs> and I don't have to sharpen my pencil manually. So we're gonna get this plugged in. Let's take a look at it. I don't know. Okay, this don't come off. I'm quite sure it should, just in case if you wanna change the, um, the sharpener, huh, quite sure it come off some kind of way, yeah, there we go, yeah, comes off, it's a helical blade sharpener, which I'm super excited about, and it's a six to eight millimeter, and I know everybody's question will be, can we use the square brute funners for the sharpener. Well, we're gonna find out together. You can put a battery in it, or you can plug it in, which I'm excited about. Y'all, right now, this pencil sharpener is only $17.39. It's originally $28.99, but right now, only on this color, this black and gold, there's a 40% coupon. I will have the link below. I really, really appreciate if you would use that link. All right, I finally got the... Let's see. We're gonna get it plugged in, and we're gonna get to work and see exactly are you gonna go in little guy okay all right we're just gonna put this back here so we're gonna check it out and i'm gonna have a seat all right let me unplug which one what did i plug in Oh, my light pad, I didn't plug that. Okay. So the sharpener is plugged in. It's a blue light, blinking. I guess you go to sharper, to dull, more blunt. Yeah. Okay, guys. This is supposed to be hands-free. It said fully automatic hands-free. We're going to check that situation out. Let me pull you up a bit. We're going to try a polychromos first. Let's try, let's find a doll. Let's take this pretty blue. This is a polychromos. Can't see you. Okay. And it's really, really dull. So we're gonna let's see. Did I have to take oh I just stick it in. Oh and it pushes it out. That's cool. Oh wow. Look what that did. Okay. Um liking it so far. I like how it just pushed the pencil out. Let's try another one. This is another really short point. Really short. You just Okay, it's automatic, so it's gonna keep going. So I'm gonna push the pencil in and see how it pushes the pencil out when it's done. That is freaking cool, I love it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, compared to, this is how it looked in the beginning. 
and this is what you get now uh loving it all right let's try okay so it works great with polychromos this is the first one and i love how it just pushes the pencil out so let's try okay we got the try prisma let's find try to find some dull short let me get my prisma case it's right next to us i had some uh, prismas that i was using for a project but um they're all pretty sharp and i want to get one that's a dark color that's kind of dull like this one all right this is a prisma this is pc 920 you see how short that is yeah very short we're gonna put it in Okay, you didn't, maybe. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, it's sharpened, but I don't know if it did the prism of the way it worked for the polychromos. Let's try another one. Okay, because that didn't work out too good. I'm trying to find one that's dark that we can see. Here's a purple that is extremely short. This is actually a, um, a extra that I have in my case. Let's stick it in. Okay, it is not liking the Prismas. I'm thinking they're too soft, but I did bring over my Derwent Color Soft because they are soft too. So, and I know I wanted to try it. Okay, it's not liking the Prismas. It's not liking the Prismas. <clears throat> so, I'm a little upset about that. Let's try one more, cause you know, I mean, this is like my main pencil. Okay, this one is pretty short. Let's try it. I don't like it for the Prismas. I don't like it for the Prismas. So, no for the Prismas. It didn't work for me. And just for peak's sake, let's try another one. It was all right on that one. It did okay on that one. It did okay. Come on, pencil, go in. It did okay for that one, but I don't know about the pencil sharpener and the prisms. So, let's try. It worked for the polychromos. Let's try the, um, and this is uh, some color soft pencil. This is the color soft pencils. I'm using these for something. That's why they are just in here like that. So let's try one that is very short. Very short. I guess we'll try this one. It's a color soft. Short. Oh, honey, it won't even fit. No, it won't even fit. Okay, so, no. So, it is for your smaller pencils. It won't even fit the color soft. But it's a 6 to 8 millimeter. It's not like this one that's a 6 to 12, and you could put anything in there. And it That works good for those square brute funners. So I'm knowing now that the square boot runners are probably not gonna fit. 
Let's see. I'm taking one out. It's a green. Nope. It won't even fit. Okay. So let's try. I bought over Holbein's. And let me find one that is short. This one is pretty short. Let's see how it works. Okay, it. I mean, I had to really stick it in there. It was, okay, it worked pretty good on that one, but I had to really, really push it in there, but it did sharpen very, very well. Like it sharpened the hell out of that pencil. That worked good. Let's try another one. Let's find a short one. Hmm. They're all pretty, pretty long. Because of how I color, once I sharpen them, how I color with them. So you see, they're all pretty, pretty long. Let's try this purple. They keep a good point. But for my Holbein's, I use this sharpener. Let me see. Where is it? This is the sharpener that I usually use for my um, Holbein's. This is a... Um, an Alvin Brass Bullet. It is extremely heavy. It is a really great um, sharpener. I love it. And I just keep it in there. But that's usually what I use if I'm lazy. I will use... This. If I'm being lazy and don't feel like using, you know, the manual. Uh-oh, and I got stuff everywhere. But I'll use my Coral Angel 5, which this is a great, great sharpener. Love it, love it, love it. Now I have stuff everywhere, but let's try this one and see. You have to really stick it in there. Yeah, it likes the Hobines. Yes, look at that. It's... If it work for you, honey, it is working for you. Like this and the polychromos, which are, to me, almost the same size, if you ask me. They look alike to me. Yeah, that's a polychromos and a Holbein. Almost the same size. They feel, yeah, they just look like each other. And the pencil sharpener work great for both of these guys. So, yeah. Let me pour this off. All right. So it works on the Holbein's, it works on the Polychromos. It don't work on the Square brutes. Now I have a brute funner, which looks like a Holbein and a polychromos. And it sharpens good. I just wish it was bigger. I just wish it was bigger. That's all. But that's nice. What other pencil can we try? This is a Hippie Crafter, and I have this next to me because I was working on a project with these. It's already long. Can I find one that's not so long? This green one, maybe? This one is not too long, so let's stick it in. Okay, it didn't work. Let's try it again. 
Okay, it didn't work. So once it don't work, I don't know. I don't know, but it's okay, I think. If you are using Hobines or if you are a polychromos person, this will be great for you because it really sharpened the polychromos. But if you are like me and you have so many different sets of pencils and different sizes and you kind of want your sharpener, sharpener, electric sharpener to be universal and kind of work for everything, this may not be for you because this will only work on polychromos as of right now and Hobines, which are kind of smaller pencils. Well, not smaller, but you know, smaller. But I like the sharpener. I like it if I'm using those two pencils, but A pro is, I would say a proof, a pro for this, it's $17.39. Another pro is sorry about that. Another pro is it's a helical blade. I like how it pushed the pencil out when it's done, or when it thinks it's done. Cons. It's only standard size pencils will work. It did not like the really soft, waxy pencils like the Prisma or the, which one I tried it didn't like. It didn't like the Prisma and it didn't like um, another one. So it don't, I don't think it really cared for waxy pencils. I don't think so, but it's okay. It's worth a try. Um, I was really hoping that I liked it more, but um, I don't because I'm so and I'm so I apologize but I don't care for it because I can't use all of my pencils it's a six to eight millimeter sharpener for my style of coloring I need a six to twelve for my style so it would just work with everything that I use so I won't have to go back and forth but yeah, I wanted to look at this for you guys and let you know my honest opinion about it. Um, not for me, but it may be for you polychromos people because I know I have a lot of polychromos people that that's really all they use. This will be great for you for the polychromos. This is great. And it's $17.39, so check it out, polychromos people. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. But yeah, these are my personal thoughts on this pencil sharpener. Yeah. Have a good day.